guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I thought it'd be fun to do a Mulan drawing tutorial series since um, the new live-action Mulan is out on Disney+, Plus, the premiere package, whatever. So yeah, I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and do a couple of cool little Mulan characters. I've done a tutorial on Mulan before, but it's been a long time, and this one is more of like a power pose, and I feel like this shows more Mulan than the one that I actually drew based off of her. It was like the reflection scene and stuff. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, since she's in a power stance, we're gonna go ahead and draw out, lay everything out first before filling in the details. So it's kind of a complicated, it looks, it's a weird kind of position, but still it's in that power stance. So let's go ahead and just sketch it out. So I'm gonna start with drawing just her basic facial structure, just her head. Put it off to the side and she's already in a three-quarter turn. So we're gonna go ahead and make that three-quarter turn. So I draw this, that means we're seeing one side of the face more than the other. So I'm just gonna push this over here. Then from underneath her chin right here and back here, we're gonna go ahead and just draw off that section of her neck. Then we're gonna bring down her back. So you're gonna go down. And you're gonna bring out her chest and it's gonna go into her back. So you kinda just wanna swoop this down. Then you're gonna bring out her backside, round this down. And you're gonna round this part. You're gonna go in. And we're actually gonna bring out, extend this foot all the way out. And you're gonna go right back in. So one foot is extended out all the way down here. We can kind of go ahead and circle off that foot. And then back here, this part is actually gonna connect to this foot that's back here. So this one's going up, and then it's gonna go in. And then it's gonna go right back here. So this part is all connected back here. All right, now we're gonna just kinda lay out her arms. So one arm, we'll just circle off this part right here because it's kind of underneath her collar of her dress that she's wearing. You're gonna bring out this arm, bring it out, and then we're gonna go right back in. And then after that, you're gonna go ahead back here. You're gonna go to her back. You're gonna bring out her arm back here. It's just gonna go out and then into her head. And we're just gonna kind of roughly sketch out her wrist and circle off her hand because she's gonna be holding. <clears throat> she's gonna be holding a sword. You're gonna round off the oval. And I'm just gonna roughly put where the hilt's gonna be. And then that sword, you're just gonna unfur right now to make it pretty simple. I'm just gonna make a straight line. And a straight line here and a straight line here. We can add the waves to the sword later. It's a pretty thick sword. It's got a funny looking point to it too, but right now we're just laying everything out. So let's go ahead, jump to her face, and fill in the facial expressions. It is a three-quarter turn. She's looking. All right, so let's start with her eyes first. So we're gonna light roughly place where everything's gonna go. All right, I'm gonna bring down this eye guideline more, just to make it more level. All right, so I'm gonna bring up, so we're gonna go and start with like the bottom of her eye. We're gonna go up and circle down. So you go up from the guideline 
Same over here. I'm going to jump over here, go up from the guideline, and circle down into her eye. You make sure that they're the same size, like not same size on each side. We're seeing more of this eye. You want to make sure they have the same width. And her upper eyelid line is darker than her lower eyelid line. And she just doesn't have like furrowed kind of crazy looking eyelashes. She just has one, like just one eyelash on the sides. And then not much detail for her eyes. You got one eye here and one eye here, one pupil, just one pupil. Nope, not really color. So you can go ahead and fill that in fill that in. Okay, and then you can even go in and kind of roughly just go in and erase that eye guideline. And then where this nose line is, I'm going to bring this down more in the middle between her eyes just for a guide. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw her nose and it's just a circle for right now. Alright, so we're going to look at her nose. Her nose is, it, it doesn't really have like a definition on top or on, the, we just have like her nostril. So one nostril over here, all to the side. And then you're going to go ahead and jump over here. And this one has more of a definition on the side. And then you have her nostril. So you have one little definition here. So if you were to erase all the other lines there's no like nose bridge line coming down from in between her face or anything you just have like one nostril here and one nostril here you kind of go up and curve over and then for her mouth what you're gonna do we're just gonna kind of make this as simple as possible she has an extreme dip right in the middle of her lips so we're gonna make, you know how we make those birds when we were in kindergarten? We're gonna make that lip. And just, I'm just gonna make it thicker right here. And I'm gonna go underneath. And we'll, we'll adjust the facial structure, don't worry, but right now we're just worried about what's inside the face. So you're gonna go down after your bird lip, you make it nice and thick. And then you're going to go underneath, so you go down, and then you can go ahead and get rid of that line. But Mulan has very thick lips, that's what's going on here. She does have thick lips, and they do, they have to get that significance of it's Mulan's facial expressions, like her features. You want to make sure you get that bird, because that dip goes down into her mouth and in a thick under lip right there. All right, now let's fix up those fa that face just a little bit more because now it doesn't. We just wanted to get everything replaced. So her face is relatively rounded off on this side, but then we get to a little bit of definition. We're going to bring down that chin, so it's going to go out and in and back into her ear. So you want to make sure you have like. So it's round here, and then it's nice structured cheekbone kind of going into her jaw. And you got a jaw jawline here and going into her ear. So another thing that really defines her face is her eyebrows and her hair, because her hair is kind of enveloping her face and everything. And this is, if you're concerned, like if you're confused on what part of the scene this is, is when she's on the roof in the Forbidden City and she's telling off Sean Yu. So, that's what we're that's the part that we're at that's why she's in this power stance so starting from her eyes we're gonna go ahead and give her her eyebrows we have the bottom part of her eyebrows she has very thick eyes eyebrows and one's gonna go off to the side one goes down bring it up and we can kind of just leave this one for right now because her hair is gonna be covering up the rest of her eyebrow but then she's gonna go over here we're gonna go over here, get this bottom of this eyebrow, go down, and go back up, and off to the side of her head. Fill that one in. She's got her like her hair 
she's got cropped hair at this point. One part of her hair goes here. And then we're gonna go and make the other part of her hair is just off to the side here. So this is like flowing in the wind. But this part of her hair, we're gonna go up from this little partition right here. This part, you're gonna go ahead, make a little bit of a line right here, bring out this part and go into her back. You're gonna circle this, you're gonna kind of circle down, not circle down, just go down. I have this part here. And then her hair is not in strands. It's all it's like a big like collection all together. You're gonna, you bring this out, so you go down. You see it does like this hill. And you're gonna swoop right back into her body. The only kind of little hair strand she has is this little hair strand that's like right in the middle of her face. And that's basically it. So I'm gonna go in and just kind of shape up these lips a little bit more. Cause I think she, it doesn't, isn't the line like not quite to Shan Yu or something. It was pretty great. Pretty good power line. Drop mic moment. But you just kind of want to like, cause she just, you know, she's got her scowl on, her power scowl. Let's go. And then I'll fill this in like darker later on. I'll show you that, that to you guys later. All right, so let's start piecing in the rest of part, the rest of her body. So we have her neck right here, which is good where it is. So we're gonna go ahead and draw the collar of her dress. It's pretty simple. I just went ahead back up here, bring it down. And then we've got this little shoulder part to her dress right here. Bring this down. Her back goes arched just a little bit. And then this part that we drew here is going to go down. And you know it separates. And it goes into her belt. So I go underneath her arm here. And it goes into her belt. And her belt is taking up most of the middle part, like her whole entire waist. So we're just gonna entire waist fill that in. And erase that. And then for her arm, this is where it gets tricky. Because <laughs> I've already done this once already, and I was like, whoa, this is a tricky pose to teach on. So we're gonna this has to be going straight out. Because there's no definition of her arm that we can see because her sleeves are so puffy. So we are going to circle off right here. This is the bottom of her hand. We're going to bring this up. And it's actually, you're going to go up on this side and bring down this side. And you're going to bring out thumb. This is kind of one of those perspective drawings in a way. Her hand should be almost as big as her face because this hand is being extended towards us. So that's what's going on, why it's kind of a bigger version of her hand. And this one's gonna be smaller up here. So that's what I'm teaching <laughs> today, I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna go ahead and make her thumb extended out. And we're gonna curve right back into her hand. And then you're gonna bring out her pointer finger Go in, and then let's go ahead and just kind of erase a little bit so you understand where the heck we're going with this. So we have one middle finger going into her hand, another finger going in, and then her pinky finger going in. Swoop this down. And in. That 
way you got that pointed finger as long as you have and then you just kind of like fold this one down and you're just gonna wrap that around that's basically it it's a weird face it's a weird hand gesture but you know and then I'm gonna go back behind it circle off the wrist part of her sleeve and you can still keep that poofy part there and this poofy part it goes right into the poofy part on top then for this hand up here since everything's kind of blowing in the wind we see a little bit more definition to her arm so if we start from her wrist bring this part out so this is like her elbow and the rest of her arm so you see bring out that elbow and then we can go ahead and circle off where the wrist is going to go. Circle off here, circle off here. Bring this down. We don't see the rest of her arm. It's just hanging out behind her hair. So then this part right here, we're going to go ahead and box off her hand. So you're just going to box off her hand and you're going to extend this pointer finger but you don't have to draw these other fingers. So we're extending one pointer finger here, and by the bottom of the box, you're just gonna draw out her thumb. So you see I drew out her thumb and a pointer finger. So that means the hilt needs to be inside of her hand. So it just kinda looks like a regular ice cream cone in a way. Bring out, I'm just I'm gonna lightly draw through her hand so I make sure it's nice and even on the hilt. oval. And then I can go ahead and kind of erase inside of her hand. That's that's all the definition we really have to do for her hand holding the sword. So the thing about the sword is, it looks like I'm going to run out of room, but it's a lot more menacing as you, if, if you've seen the animation. It's got, it's all squiggly and it's got its jagged edges. So I round off the bottom of the sword, the bottom of the blade here. And you're just gonna kind of go in and you can give it as many waves as you want but when you get to the end of your sword you're gonna give it more of a pointed hilt not a hilt my bad a pointed blade so it's gonna kind of look more like an arrowhead so it goes out looks like a fire flame out and then I'm just gonna go in I ran out of room for the blade it's okay it's still a, a scary looking sword and then you're just gonna draw in the middle of it because, and then up here, because ultimately this is like showing the shading of the blade. So this part's darker and I can shade this later for you guys. Now for the bottom part of her body. It's not that complicated, just making it look right is a little bit complicated. So I'm gonna go ahead from her waist you're gonna bring up this knee. So this knee is going down. You can leave this side. Well, we have part of the blue part of her dress right here, and then like here's the white part. So you have this part here, and you have this line here you're keeping. But then this part is going out to the bottom of the corner of the page. So you're gonna circle this in. And then go up to that back foot where that back foot's gonna be. So you've got a line here I'm going out and in, but this line here can disappear, this one can disappear, this one can disappear, and this one disappears. So for her foot, it's pretty simple. You're just gonna go ahead, it goes out. A room. I need a bigger sketchbook. Bring out this foot. And it goes in. So it's a pretty simple shoe. Just kind of round that off there. Then for this shoe back here, it's just tucked right into her skirt. So we barely see it, but there is definitely a shoe there and a little bit of skin hanging out. So that's like her. That's like her heel showing just a little bit. 
Now for the rest of her skirt, the blue part of it goes down into here and the rest of this is white. So let me add a little bit of dark colors to this. Let me just line it in a way to see different shading. And there you go, there's how to draw Fa Mulan from the animated version of Mulan, from Disney's animated version that is. So there you go, I hope you'll go and you'll draw her in this awesome pose, the power pose. I know I've done a tutorial on Mulan before, but not in this way, so it's always fun to learn different poses, action poses. So yeah guys, I will see you all later, bye!